Hello, welcome along to Adventures of Pod. My name is Simon Jacobs. This is episode 118. In case you were counting, I have been, I guess. And you are most welcome. Um, if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, do subscribe, please, because it's just um, it's just rather nice. And uh, and if you've got a channel, let me know and I'll subscribe to yours. I'll subscribe to any of them. But, I mean, it's free. It doesn't do any harm. And um, you might enjoy it. I hope. In this episode, uh, I'm going to talk about a brand new song I've written just in the last um, week or so, mainly because uh, of the rather curious way that this song has come about. And I'm always interested in where do songs come from. So probably worth a chat. Um, and I want to just, uh, well, let's do it now. Let's just be upstanding um, for Miss Kate Bush, who has achieved apparently her one billionth stream on Spotify for running up that hill, one billion streams. Well, who'd have thunk it, eh? Back in a moment. <laughs> uh, actually, while we're giving out, you know, congratulatory gongs, um, I would recommend to you most heartily the new Christine and the Queens album. I think it's um, the fourth album. Um, uh, it is quite an intense listen, lots of misery um, after the, the death of his mother, I think. Um, so, you know, it's, it's not necessarily an easy, an easy listen, but it is, it is really, really good. And I've always liked, you know, the, the artist, the group, whatever. I'm not quite sure if it's really just one person or, you know, there's more there. But um, fourth, and I think in terms of the reviews, possibly the best album for Christian and the Queens, go take a listen. Okay, um, look, this is unusual. Let me tell you the story um, of this latest song. The song is called Easy Sunday. Now, this is what happened. Um, one of my very good friends, David phoned me up the other day and said um, a song had, no, actually it was more than just a song, a whole scenario had come to him in a dream. And in the dream, I had written a song called Easy Sunday and it had become a very big hit. Um, so what David was doing was obviously calling me to let me know that this dream had occurred. And um, what's more, he could remember some bits of the song that were the, the enormous hit um, that I had apparently written and performed. So, um, you know, I, I, was, I was rather amused. Um, I listened to a little bit of what David had to say about the actual song. Well, now, one of the things he did say was that he, I think he uh, could remember that it had, you know, a, a section where I was rapping. Well, that's not gonna happen. Let's be very honest about that, because you know you need to know what you can and what you can't do. I think in this uh, in this game, certainly when you're when you're writing songs, you know, stick with your strengths. I would say, so um, there won't be any rapping, um, but I kind of listened to what um, my friend Dave was telling me about the song, what he could remember, and then actually, I'll tell you the truth. He actually called me back later in the day and said, "Did you get all of that down?" And I said, well, you know, in, in principle, yes, but not the actual. He said, well, I, he said, I can't remember the tune anymore. I said, oh, um, you know, can't, you can't remember what you were singing earlier on today. He said, no. And I thought, well, there's someone just like me. So I, I couldn't remember quite exactly. And anyway, it doesn't matter. I think what I'm saying is what I have written subsequently is probably quite a long way away from the, the initial dream that my friend David had that he needed to tell me about so urgently. So where where do we stand on this? Um, obviously, you know, I don't really know where I stand on paranormal and psychic activities, but um, I think if somebody if somebody gives you an idea for a song and you're thinking, oh, I can see how that kind of works, then then why not? Um, and if it turns out that this is, you know, the one big hit of my entire career, then obviously I have to give. I have to give half the money to David, won't I? So that won't be much fun. But you know, um, it'll that will be proof proof positive. That's why I'm telling you now. That'll be proof positive that um, 
it was a premonition. It wasn't just a <coughs> an idle dream. It was um, a dream with a message. Now, uh, the actual song, um, which I'm going to leave with you at the end of this uh, little chat, the actual song, which is actually my most recent song as well, um, and who knows where it'll end up in a year or so's time. I, um, no guarantees at this stage. Um, but the song itself, what I was trying to convey in the song was heat and frustration. It's somebody driving through the traffic. I think I'm in LA on this one. I'm in the LA traffic on a freeway trying to get to work and it's getting late um, and it's hot. That is what I've tried to kind of signify on this track and the way that it's put together and the way that it's sung and everything's a nightmare apart from Sundays. Um, so, you know, um, uh, one line I would like to draw your attention to, my favourite line, this is, you should meet my boss, she's a nightmare. Quite fun, isn't it? Um, so, easy Sunday, not easy like a Sunday morning, Lionel Richie, nothing to do with that. This is Easy Sunday, dreamt up by David and then written by me. And I'm going to leave that one with you. Um, by the way, Strange Alien, out on July 21st, you, um, that's a, nearly a month away, but... I would put that obviously in your diary, write it on the wall in, in fluorescent pink marker if I were you, just so you don't forget. Um, and it's going to be the, the first, the, the song is called Strange Alien um, and there's going to be a whole bunch of other singles coming after that. So new material to get very, very excited about. And uh, as I say, while we're on the subject of new, let me leave you today, this week, with easy Sunday and have a very good and easy Sunday. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Stuck in traffic every day I can see the heat haze rising on the freeway Stuck in traffic Stay in lane Oh, I gotta get there and turn around and do it all again Of my fair share, you should meet my boss. She's a nightmare. Stuck in traffic, stay in lane. You can bet your ass I'm gonna be in trouble again. My heart will come so soon.